Yeah. Vote out the strongest people because you don't want to be one on one against the real brain box, do you? <laughs> I'm sure that's not the game. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter what the, the game is. You've got to fight really dirty. <laughs> and, um, I was well, a bit be thrown. So good in the traders. Anybody watching the traders will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, the thing is, I am a very competitive person. I've done other shows like The Weakest Link, uh, which I was actually quite bad at, or you know, so I've learned my lesson. But I won tipping point. I don't know, so I, could have, I was quite confident about that. Um, I, the first time I did MasterChef, I came second. I was furious. <laughs> I was absolutely in meltdown. So when they said, you've come say you must be pleased that Age Edmondson has won, I went, I'm absolutely <laughs> peed off. Do you think second is just not placing? Do it's you, not placing. It's not placing. It's, it's like, and also it's on board. Uh -huh. I don't care. I mean, Jill, yeah. you're sitting in the middle of the time going, absolutely, there is no place for second. Yeah. You've got to win. Yeah, <laughs> I am very competitive, especially when it comes to sports. So even I think my nephews were about four and eight, and I would take them to play football. That's a winning yeah, place, just for yeah. yeah. But it's OK to be competitive on the pitch, but I'd take them to the park and I'd be playing football and I'd be like, Two foot on them and slide. <laughs> I'm like, football is difficult. How old are they? They were about, they were about four and eight at the time. So <laughs> four and eight. Yeah, and you're young. Yeah, they that. always say it to me, but it's um, it's funny actually because me and my partner Shelley we went to play, you know, the cube. They do it in Manchester, and she is so much more competitive than me. Like, yeah. she let us do one of the games. She let me. She was like, <laughs> you can have your turn now, and I messed it up. And she was like, we didn't have a plan. You didn't have a strategy. And I was like, yeah. oh my god. So I think when it comes to sport. <laughs> Sport, very competitive, but yeah, when it comes to anything else, I can let so it's slightly more. less yeah. so, a little less, less so. But the fire in the belly is there, isn't yeah. it? I think, and that's what makes you a success, particularly in sport, but certainly in the game show. I mean, you're just so intelligent, Janet. So for you but to be in a, in a, a game show I, and not I, win, I think the thing about game shows on television, and I've done the chase as well, is that you know all the answers, but you could, you get some kind of stage fright. So, and also, if you do too well, then yeah. suddenly you've got a question about the English rugby tour of South Africa, and you might as well, you've lost the plot. <laughs> so, uh, on, on that particular episode, I actually um, really was lucky that the final question was Stormzy, and I just thought, yeah, got but it. You, but look, you only win it if you know it. You know, you got to, yeah. you got to know the yeah. answer. And I mean, look, I think it's super healthy because competition is part of life, not just in game shows and in sport, in the workplace, in all aspects of adult life. So. We're doing our kids a bit of a disservice now, I think. You know, I've got young kids still in school. And Sports Day, well, frankly, it's become a bit boring. You know, you don't, you, well, you don't have first or second or third place. Everyone's a winner. Yeah, you're encouraged to even chant, come on, everybody. Oh, yeah. So, it, it, like, for me, it's, like, it's actually... It's not just generic and boring, it's unfair, because when children get into the real world, they will realise that disappointment and victory are very much part of life. And mm -hmm. if we don't experience our failures, how can we even get any get up and go to, yeah. to get success, yeah. you know, I guess. Come I on, everybody. Yeah, come on, everybody. <laughs> yeah, they'll not adopt that in a football match. Not in the U Wars <laughs> final. Come on, everyone. Come, come on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins and who <laughs> No, exactly. It doesn't happen in the real world, yeah. does it? Um, speaking of sort of friendly rivalry, if we want to call it that, um, the Oscar nominations left us all a bit shocked yesterday as Ryan Gosling was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for Barbie, but there was nothing Thing for his co-star, Margot Robbie. Um, now, Ryan has said uh, there's no Ken without Barbie. Um, and it's an interesting one. A lot of people said maybe he should just give the nomination back, Katie, you know, to so solidarity with Margot. But that's not necessarily the point here, is it? No, I think she can show solidarity with him and she can celebrate with him. It was a film they were both in that they're she both... She produced? Yeah, fact, she produced yeah. it. So they can be equally as proud of, of that. And I think, look, someone's got to win and he was really good. I mean, I, I understand that, you know, perhaps he's not going to be really boastful about it because she, she maybe didn't get that win, but it's acknowledging a project that they were both passionate about that we all enjoyed. I yeah. think the biggest thing is the irony of what, what the movie is. Is. The movie is about sort of feminism and bar. Yeah, but being. it's kind of feminism light, isn't it? It's like the easy to digest, not too ch challenging version of feminism. <laughs> yes, but, be it. And <laughs> so I think Ryan Gosling really deserves an award because before the film, Ken was a colourless character. Yeah. He was just a funny little plastic doll in with nothing down below in strange, <laughs> ill-fitting pants. <laughs>
now, we, you know, it's Ryan Gosling, so what's not to like? <laughs> um, so I hope, I hope that he does not hand his award, but if he gets there. Yeah. And I'm sure he, you know, everybody knows that Margot Robbie did a lot of work on that movie, produced it, and uh, did a great job mm. yeah. uh, starring in it too. Yeah. yeah, he definitely shouldn't hand it back. I think he's, he's worked hard, and I think sometimes in sport you get individual awards, but you're part of a bigger team, and I'm sure Barbie and Ken will feel like they've got one hand on that for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. love the song. My little boy, who's two, Knows the words. How oh, sad is that? That's how many times we've watched this movie <laughs> in my life. Uh, still to come.